right? He invited Jesus. And lastly, he trusted Jesus. Sabi niya ganon, he made the conclusion. You know, when you hear the word saw, sabi niya ganon, saw that he, uh, she will be healed and live. Sino na bigay ng conclusion? <laughs> it was Jairus. Why? Because he trust him. That's the trust. Right? So if, if we're going to read the story, oh, it's just a simple thing. Jairus came and he invited the Lord Jesus Christ because the, the daughter is dying. No, that's not how simple it is. If we're going to really understand what the character of Jairus, then we will understand how to become an ideal father. And this is the challenge for all of us. Okay, let's go now to the second stage of the story. The first stage is, ano yun? The petition. Kasi nagpipetition ka. He was asking for something. Now let's go to the second part of the story, the postponement. What do you mean by the postponement? When unnecessary things arise, you could find that on Mark chapter 5, verses 24 to 34. Let's read the, the, the scripture. Let's continue with the story. Again, this is a narrative story. A large crowd followed and pressed around him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Talaga naman, nagastos na lahat. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. And on verse 28, because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was free from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power had come out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered. And yet, you can, you can ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. And uh, then the woman, knowing what, hap uh, what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet. He fell on his feet again, and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed, freed from your suffering. Okay, the first portion of the story was Jairus. He came and asked him, for some assistance to the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, okay, let's go home, let's go to your home. And then all of a sudden, there is this woman. Alam mo mga babae talagang, ano yan eh? Pang-ontra, you know? Hindi naman. They postponed men. They were the postponed men. Now what I'm trying to say is, there was, the story is that Jesus is about to go to Jairus' house. Then all of a sudden, there is an interruption caused by a woman. Okay? I'm not saying that woman is the cause, but there was an interruption. Okay? There is a delay. And what happened? This woman, as, as mentioned, she was having a, a bleeding problem for 12 years. Sino ba sa may bleeding problem for 12 years na? Right. So basically, uh, that is the problem. And that is why I, I mentioned when obstacle happen or when unnecessary pressure things are happen. Imagine the feeling of Jairus. You know, papunta na kayo kasi mamamatay yung anak niya. Remember, the, the daughter is dying and he, he is already with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then all of a sudden, there is an interruption. What do you think Jairus would feel? Siguro sa, probably Jairus would say, ano ba naman yan? What na yun po nangyari? You know, why did this thing? It should happen today. You know, pwede bang bukas ka na lang magpag- You know, can, can you probably ask the Lord Jesus to heal you tomorrow instead of today because my daughter is dying? You could have said that. But you did not. Did you hear any complaint from Jairus? No. No. There was no complaint. Where did you hear the complaint? It was from Peter. The disciple, ano sabi ni Peter? Why can't I go complain with you know, you know, why are you complaining so who somebody touched you? Hey, you know, we are already in the crowd. Siguro probably Peter would like to say, go home, tara na, tara na. No, but the Lord Jesus Christ said, wait, I need to know who is the person who touched me. Ano purpose ito? What is the significance? Let's see. There is a significance. 
And there is something that Jairus can learn from that. What can we learn? The principles. Okay. He never complains. No? Jairus, he never complains. He could have complained. Second, he wait patiently. He wait patiently. He, he learned as he watched and observed. He was the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, like what I'm saying. You know, he could have said, What's the name of the Lord? What's the risk of the Lord? Pwede yung ganun yan. I'm the synagogue leader, remember? You know, he never do that. But I, I like to focus on this portion. He learned as he watched and observed. Brother Adele, what do you mean by that? Okay, this is what I'm, I would like to you to see. You know, uh, he learned as he watched and observed. Something to think about, you know, things that Jairus might have heard, uh, might have earned as well. The woman whose name is never given, remember the woman is unknown, right? The name was not given, had suffered from hemorrhage for 12 years, and I think it is safe to say that her ailment was female in nature. It is not difficult to understand why she approached the Lord Jesus Christ and seen from behind while Jairus faced the Lord, Pele at his feet. Jairus beseeched the Lord to bring healing to his daughter, and the woman did not even ask. Remember Jairus, he came and he asked. But the woman, he never asked. Actually, he never asked. He is still a divine healing from the Lord. You know, a casual reading of the account of Luke may result in a kind of, hmm, you know, a kind of response to the part of the reader, but this failed to give this remarkable woman the credit she deserved for what she has accomplished. And I guess this is what Jairus have come to realize too. There is something that this woman have accomplished. And I guess this is what Jairus have learned too. Mother of the, I mean, accomplish the woman. This is what the woman have accomplished. Number one, he learned, uh, he, uh, he learned as he was in observed. He learned from the woman accomplishment. Number one, oh, wala pala, hindi ko nagawa. Number one is here. She succeeded despite of the obstacle of ceremonial and cleanliness. Remember during that time when you are bleeding, you are ceremonially unclean. You cannot join the crowd because the crowd will basically show you away. Remember, there is no law at that at, during that time. The fact if you are bleeding, hindi ka pwede, ano, madumi ka. Ganun pa rin. They, they look at the woman as dirty when they are having menstruation, right? Menstrual periods. Ganun, ganun yung law at that time. But again, despite of that, he wa she was able to succeed, you know, to get the healing. So, meron siyang accomplishment. Number two, she succeeded despite of the obstacle of the large crowd, which is forcing the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the there are a large crowd surrounding the Lord Jesus Christ. But imagine, he was able to touch the cloak of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Without anyone noticing him. I'm not missing her. You know? that's, a, that's a great accomplishment. The woman had to work her way through in, in, an, in and out in an uncooperative crowd with number two, and eh, number three, with a weak condition. Remember, may sakit yung, remember? The woman is weak. You know, the woman is bleeding for 12 years. And to fight his way through to that weak crowd, it's a, it's a great accomplishment. Diba? And she need to reach Jesus by forcing her way through an aggressive and crushing mob and yet did not draw attention to herself. Because what will happen if she draw attention to herself? Baka is stone she. She might be stoned. But remember, she was so sneaky. She was able to touch the, the, the cloak of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a big accomplishment. And that is what I think Jairus learned from her. And I guess this is something that we could learn too. Diba? Uh, oh, let us not look at you know, the weaknesses. You know, uh, sabi ko nga, despite of, despite of her position, 
despite of the negative opposition, despite of her condition, still she was able to manage to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Tayo, konting bagyo lang, hindi na tayo makapunta sa Panginoon. Konting problem lang, just a small problem, we have all the reasons not to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. But look at the woman. You know, she fight through. And I guess this is what Jairus learned. And that is the reason why he learned as he watched and observed. Hindi siya nag-complain. Because she is looking at the situation. Sana ganun din tayo. When there is a problem, let's look at the situation. You know, madalas eh, may problem. Lord, bilisan mo. Mamamatay na yung anak ko. Diba? But we have to understand, if we trust the Lord, we have to wait and we have to learn and observe how the Lord works. What did, the, what did uh, Jairus learn from the woman? The accomplishment. What did Jairus learn from the Lord Jesus Christ's response? This is one good thing. Number one, Jesus would not allow to have a second class to live. This is what he learned from the Lord Jesus Christ. What do you mean, brother and dead? This is what I mean. The position of the woman, uh, not the position of the woman. Now that she has identified herself, remember, she come forward, right? Before she was behind Jesus, uh, be before she was behind Jesus, out of his sight, or so she thought, she, uh, now she is at the Jesus feet, and just as Jairus has been. Remember, when he, when he first came to the Lord Jesus Christ, he was at the back of the Lord Jesus Christ. He just touched, and the Lord Jesus Christ, Remember, Jairus, when he came to the Lord Jesus, he is facing the Lord Jesus Christ face to face. And why the Lord Jesus Christ would like to give blessing, he wants to give it to you face to face. He doesn't want you to receive his blessing while he, you are at his back. The Lord Jesus Christ doesn't want to give a second class or a second rate blessing. He wants to give a first class blessing to each and every one. He wants to meet us face to face. Hindi tayo pwede magnakaw ng blessing lang sa Panginoon. He wants you to, to face Him and ask Him directly. Paano ba tayo nagnanakaw ng, ng, ng blessing? Well, when you ask somebody, Oy, can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? Why? Can, can you pray for yourself? Can you face the Lord Jesus Christ by yourself? You know, kasi hindi ako makatingin sa kanya eh. So as if it's the same situation, right? It may be an error, but it would seem to me that the woman came to Jesus secretly from behind because she felt that she, she was unworthy to approach him directly. Probably that is the, you know, he would feel ng babae. I am unworthy. I am, uh, probably the, 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 the woman is saying, I am unclean. Right? Kasi nga, dinudugo siya. Diba? Ganun ang feeling ng babae. But the Lord Jesus Christ doesn't want you to feel like that. Uh, Jesus would not allow her to think uh, like that. He would not be content until she, just like Jairus, the ruler of the synagogue, was before him, looking into his face, and here is where people of faith belong. At Jesus' feet before him. Diba? At Jesus' feet before him, not at the back. Only those who are unbelievers will have God's back turned to them. What did you say, Father? Remember this. Only those who are unbelievers will have God's back turned on them. Sino daw yung tinatalikuran ng Panginoon? Yung mga unbelievers daw. If you are a believer, you have to face the Lord. Di ba? You are a son of, son of the living God, so you have to face Him. Why would you face Him at His back? Di ba? Number two, what did, what did He learn from Jesus? Jesus would not allow His understanding as to the real cause of He lived. Jesus identified faith as the real cause of the miracle. You know, she believed as the other gospel record that if she were to touch Jesus, she would be healed. She not only believed in this intellectually, she acted on it. From the point of view, it was Jesus' power that filled her. 
That's right. Diba? Sa point of view ng babae, in the point of view of the woman, it was the power of the Lord Jesus Christ that healed her. But on the other side, on the point of view of the Lord Jesus Christ, it was the woman's faith which brought her healing. You know? Did, did you see? What, what, did, what did you say, brother, again? In the point of view of the woman, sa paningin ng babae, ang nagpagaling sa kanya, yung power ng Panginoong Jesus. But on the point of view of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is her faith that makes her healing. Diba ano sabi sa scripture? It is through your faith. Diba? Yes, of course, the power will, will flow out from, from, from the Lord Jesus Christ, but it was triggered by the faith of the woman. Another thing that he learned, Jesus will not want us to experience guilt or stealing a healing. Remember, if the Lord Jesus